it so. You're entirely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And today we're taking a look at the used sailboat market. Now, it is incredibly... There's a lot of things happening this year. We have an election. So with an election in the United States of America, that will inevitably change interest rates. If interest rates go down, boat prices will go up because more people will go out and start to finance boats, in turn driving up the price. Now, if interest rates continue to rise, boat prices will continue to drop because they are considered a luxury item. So you must keep that in mind if planning on buying this year. Now, with the election being in November, I'm assuming assuming that actual impact on the boat market will be sometime in January. So you have to keep that in mind if you have a bunch of cash or you're planning on buying a boat right now. Just kind of think about those things. Don't be hesitant to jump onto a boat if it's a good deal. Thinking that the boat prices are going to continue to drop, I personally do not think that they will. I think they're going to level off about the end of this year, and I think they're gonna to start to rise right around January. That's just my personal opinion. Grabbed my crystal ball, and that's what it told me, so that's what I think. So here we are, we're over on the wonderful world of yachts. Now today, we're gonna to take a look at a little bit financially friendly vessels, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my minimum budget here on the left-hand side, $50,000, easy cheesy, lemon breezy. Now when it comes to years, I don't like to buy boats older than about 2010 currently because it's 2024. And once you hit that 20 year mark, it's gonna be difficult to get insurance for longer trips offshore, blue water sailing, things like that. So we have to keep those things in mind. For some reason, we're stuck here on Leopard. But we don't want leopard today, do we? No. We just want our typical little monohulls. We're going to go price low to high. Let's see what we're working. Go over here on the left, and we're going to do our minimum length. We're going to do 35 footer, because I think that's a good minimum length for a cruising sailboat to live on full time. We're going right to sailboats. Boom, all sail. And there we are. Now we got to make sure everything's low to high. We're off. We're shaking. Hey. We're together. We're looking at the used sailboat market. Not that difficult. Now, these are racing boats. This is a custom boat. I don't like to buy backyard built boats. The boat might be fantastic, but that's not what I'm going for. Now, this is pretty amazing here. I got a 50K and above 2010 or newer. Not a lot of options, as you can see. Our first one's going to be a 2011 Oceanus 40. Love the Oceanus 40. Fantastic boat. Used to own one. This one is in St. Martin. I'm assuming this is going to be an X charter, obviously. Uh, yep, right from Moorings. And this is probably going to be one of their famous sold as is boats. So if we go down here, Shadowfax, blah, sold as is. Now, when it comes to buying an X charter boat, in my opinion, do not, under any circumstance, ever buy an as is one. There are too many issues initially when a charter boat first comes out of the fleet that those issues are going to cost you a lot of money. So while 70K seems like a great price range, this is not a boat that's worth going to look at. It's not going to be a unicorn. It's not going to be in great shape. This thing's probably been sitting on the hard for a year, rotting. It's been pillaged by the moorings for other boats, and they've taken all kinds of stuff off of it, sitting out here baking in the sun. Those UV rays, oh, look, as I said, it's been pillaged by the other workers at moorings to help out other boats. Hey, where's your uh, wheel, sir? Yeah, so boats like this, as is, I don't like to look at, that's why. So we're gonna go ahead and go right back to uh, our little uh, jam here. Now, 2016 389, I love the 389. These things are fantastic. They're perfect for a couple or the solo sailor, in my humble opinion. Now, if we look here, we're looking again for selling as is. Again, I don't like these as is boats. If you happen to be in the British Virgin Islands on a vacation and you can swing by and take a look at this boat, fantastic. But I'm here to tell you, I've helped hundreds of clients by X moorings charters. These as is boats have just been sitting too long and they've been pillaged too much by the moorings company for other boats and they're not worth investigating much further unless you can get this thing for like 50k. 
And again, Moorings and Sun Sales, same company, but they're very, very flexible on their pricing, generally speaking. So keep that in mind. You can lowball the hoot out of these people. The worst thing they can do is tell you no. Who cares if they tell you no? Now, again, we got some more custom boats. A couple of price drops here. Price drop price drop so charters are trying to get rid of their boats asap the 36i this is a fantastic boat now about a year ago these are going for 100k 100k or more 90k ish and now these have came down with the overall boat market the 36i is a fantastic boat for the again the solo sailor or a couple the single helm for me is always going to kill it my cockpit is where I'm spending all of my time. I will not sail boats with a single helm. I will not purchase boats with a single helm. But that is a very personalized decision. And if you don't have a lot of experience sailing, they might not bother you nearly as much as they bother me. However, if we do take a look at this cockpit space, I've got no room to hang out with my buddies, kick back, have friends over. Got nothing going on. These, you know, be uh, Biminis are just useless trash this would have to initially come right off you know it's just your typical little uh 35 footer not that bad of a deal today i'm kind of looking more at prices we're kind of seeing how much these have came down now i've followed the boat market like a hawk and i have for years so i know the general price range these boats normally sell in again the 419 2017 a year ago that was 120 140k boat this one's in the BBIs as well. This one's looking good. Scroll right down. We're looking for that famous sold as is. Oh, man. Now, this one, based on the images, looks in better shape. However, we have no idea when the images were taken. So when it comes to these as is boats, I generally just say stay away from them all together. Don't be buying yourself an as is X charter. You want one that goes through phase out. Chris, what in the world's phase out? Phase out is when the charter company takes a boat out of the fleet and they go through and they fix all the problems with the boat. They replace any broken hardware, electronics, batteries, AC, generator. Everything gets fixed when they go through phase out. And those boats can be a fantastic deal. In fact, I think they're the best deal on the market, generally speaking. Now you're going to get these people to say, I'm not buying that plastic. Pl uh, excuse me, sir. They're all plastic. They're all fiberglass now these boats cross oceans all the time always have always will and have for decades and more benetos she knows these production boats cross oceans than any other boat ever made they make great boats you might not like the way they look because they look kind of like ikea i like ikea i like my boat to look like a sterile hospital room basically but again those are personal things now i've spent a lot of time on hundreds and hundreds of boats and i have a ridiculous amount of miles sailed but I do not like the classic single helm, cluttered, very small boats. Now, the Oceanus 41, this is the best 40 footer on the market, in my humble opinion. This offers the most amount of interior livable space for a 40 footer. And in my opinion, if that's what you're looking for, this is what you should buy. You get a 2016 for 88 grand. Probably knock another 10 or 15 off that. Offer those bad boys 70K to start. See where they're going to work at. Let's see if this one says as is. Dun dun. Albatross, blah, 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 as is. So what's happening here clearly is that Moorings is backed up. They're just trying to turn and burn the boats right out of the fleet. That's why you're seeing all their charters going as is. This one's in Sweden. It's a bit far away from us, correct? Yeah, Croatia, California. Hunters, again, they offer a great amount of livable space sometimes not always but this single helm thing it's just it's an instant no for me when you're back here you're helming your rough seas you got nothing to hold on to except that wheel you're flailing all over the place it's got a penguin type of a shape hole because of the year 2012 you know it's just for 95k why would i buy this boat when i could foreseeably look at something like your 2016 Oceanus 41. I'm going with the Oceanus 41 all day, every day. Now, you may love Hunters, you may hate Oceanus, but if we just look at things in black and white, I got a 2016 Oceanus for 88K. got a 2012 Hunter that's much, much smaller for 95K. What am I doing? I'm buying myself the Beneteau Oceanus. So, we can kind of see today, pretty short video today, but... That 100k or less range, really, the best deals are probably going to be X charters in this current financial environment. Not much out here. These Bavarias, again, we're getting into smaller boats. 
another seven or eight years older doesn't make any sense that seven or eight years additional use on a boat means more wear and tear more cost of replacement for you initially right when you step into buying yourself a used sailboat always keep in mind whenever you buy a sailboat i don't care what boat you buy you're gonna have to drop about 20k right out of the gate you gotta go get yourself a dinghy an outboard replace some sails some rigging whatever it may be trust me 20k worth of miscellaneous nonsense is going to absolutely come up on your boat the second you buy that bad boy so keep that in mind so today 100k or less pretty simple not much happening your best deals are going to be x charters that's just all there is to it i didn't do anything here to adjust this or make it look crazy all i did 50k minimum price range 2010 or newer used sailboats Clearly, as clear as day, black and white, the best deals, most likely going to be X Charter. So then, in that case, what do you do? You head on over to Moorings X Charter Company. So all you do, just type in MooringsBrokerage.com. Boom, pulls up the X Charter site. Here you can see all the little boats. We'll just go price low to high. Pretty easy. Here they all are. Boom, PBI, Tortola, St. Lucia, Croatia, all that good stuff. But your first stop should be right here. Start checking to see what's available and then compare that to the privately owned vessels. I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. I always think X charters are going to be the best deal financially on the market. Most people have delusions of grandeur when it comes to sailing. They're like, I've never sailed a day in my life, but I want to cross the Pacific Ocean around Cape Horde next year. My man, you're not going to have enough experience to do that. It's going to take you a little while to work into that. So stop thinking you need to buy a tanker to do those things. The better sailor you are the easier those things become. These boats are all meant to do all that stuff. You'll be fine, but you have to build up your skills first. And again, for the boat purchase price, my opinion, currently 50 to 100K, X charters are just gonna be the way to go. If you do need help getting on the water sooner than later, you can head on over to our website at chasinglatitudes.com. Now I do offer full consulting over here. Now there's a few different routes that you can go. Let's say that you're interested in a particular boat and you really want me to go in depth with you and take a look at it. You can get a one-on-one, -on -one, one-time consult. It's on sale right now. It's only $100. That gives you lifetime access to my private members area with hundreds of other members all looking to get on the water sooner than later. We will have a live one-on-one -on -one conversation. We'll discuss the boat you might be interested in. Uh, in depth, or we can go over several boats. Whatever it is you need, you can grab the one-time consult. Now, if you're in the process of buying and you kind of still got to narrow some things down, maybe you've had a previous survey that didn't work out, you're trying to determine like offer prices, things like that, you can grab a consulting package. And this will be three different consults. So we can go over multiple boats, we can touch back and forth, lifetime access to the members area, all of those good things. This is currently on sale. It's only $375. And then if you're starting your whole journey, you don't know where to start, you need help the entire process, you can get the 24-7 complete package. Again, lifetime access to the members area. It's currently half off. It's only $1,000. And I'll walk you through every step of the way until we get you the boat that's going to work for you. Now, this never expires. If you're not ready to buy a boat for a year or two, I say grab this now while it's on sale. That way, we can do a whole bunch of foundational work over the next year or two before you're actually ready to buy. We can get you out on boats. We can look at some things. We can really, really get in depth and narrow down your search. We'll come up with offer prices. We'll go over the survey together, reduction in our prices, sea trials, all kinds of stuff. That's where you want the 24-7 consulting package if you're really, really serious about getting on the water. Also, something that helps is my spreadsheet. Now, you get my number one best-selling sailing book as well as my spreadsheet for only $10. So I published a sailing book on how to buy a used sailboat uh, a couple years ago. It was the number one best-selling sailing book out there at the time. So you also get that. It's only $10. So over my web suit site, fantastic place to go. Um, I've got a little bit of apparel up here, stuff like that. But again, what we're really doing here is we just want to get you a boat that's going to work for you. So head on our website, grab a consulting package. Let's get you over in the members area. Let's get started.